I'll walk the course today. So we're walking the course this morning. I'm doing the pairs 70 to 80 with my mum. Hopefully there's no fences that are too big, too scary because it's our first event since lockdown. Um, and even just at the start of the year, I only did one arena event in, but I've really tried to keep her as fit as possible. Starts off small, gradually building up to 80. Grass coverage is really good. Obviously, we did have a lot of rain today, which is why my hair is now super curly <laughs> compared to this morning. But I'm just hoping that the rain eases off before tomorrow. The ground dries out a little bit and get a nice combination of soft ground, not too soft, um, which I don't think there'll be any chance of the ground being too soft with all the sun we've had. Um, but just my only little concern is jump number 11 and it's a very narrow um, roll top which is a nice 
a nice jump. I do like roll tops, but very narrow, and very wide, and very up to height. I'm going downhill. So it's the perfect opportunity for them to just slip out the side. Um, so I'm really gonna have to ride her over that one. Um, she's normally a very bold jumper, but she will have a very, very cheeky little slip out the side if she feels she can. So other than that, I'm feeling good. And as long as we go around safely, that's all that really matters. Like coming home safe and sound is my priority, especially first competition since lockdown. It's been months, so yeah, super excited. Proof coated, mum's marching ahead. Hopefully, they're not too muddy. country look at the sun wow it's gonna be so good morning missy good morning so right now we're just getting the lorry loaded mum's doing that over there right now and we're just giving the horses a small breakfast uh, just so they've got something in their stomach. Don't like exercising them on a empty stomach and don't like exercising them on a full stomach. So just a small breakfast, something to line them. Um, and then we're going to give them a good brush, get them ready, loaded and off. But I just can't believe the weather. Like considering yesterday it was just rain, rain, rain. Today the weather is beautiful. It's just so perfect for competing.
Hi. Why is there another stop? Okay. Thank you. Jack, we don't need this kind of talk right now. Nicely, steady. No, plunge. Just go steady because she's snatching and plunging. She's going steady and then plunging. on a little bit more please just to keep in front steady good girl steady good boy oh yep nicely Nicely. Get on, Mum, after the jump. Don't stop straight after the jump. Slow down in the middle, not straight after. Nice. Steady. Steady. Nicely. Nicely. Good girl. No, Mum, I can't stop. You're going to have to get in front now. I'm going slow, go back. Nice. 
nicely. Not bombing up the hill. Mum, push on, I've got no brakes. Nicely. Go to the right. Big girl. trot after the table trot trot nicely trot trot oh good girl trotting trot and pop Confident riding. Nicely. Nicely. Go on, ride him, ride him, ride him. Go on, up. Uh. I'm okay. Can I get back? I'm getting out the way. It should be. No, mum. Nicely, nicely. on get on whoa whoa steady 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 Nicely, steady. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>
I know. She like went on top and just. So it's now Monday morning, the competition was yesterday and I'm going to run through a few little things that happened yesterday just to elaborate, explain what was happening so you've obviously seen the footage of the competition. The head cam point of view is very hard to fully understand exactly what happened so obviously the weather was absolutely awful on Saturday making the ground super slippery because We've had so much sun over the last couple of months that the ground was rock hard and then rain on top has just made the very top surface soft and slippery whilst being hard underneath. So it was like an ice skating rink really. Um, Missy's not sure, they couldn't put studs in. She's quite secure on the ground anyway, but obviously we, our whole reason for yesterday was just to get round safe and sound, get them out, get them switched on back to competition mode after such a long time off. So that's exactly what we went out to do and we were in the start box and my farrier was actually counting us down to start and he had to give everyone a little sort of word of warning because everyone was just slipping and sliding all over the place, horses were sliding around corners, falling over so it was really quite dangerous conditions and we like I say again we weren't there competitively so speed wasn't an issue for us anyway but gave us a little pep talk, said look, just go slowly, horses are running out of the jumps because they're just not getting their fitting correctly going into the jumps. So that's exactly what we did and what we planned to do anyway. So we set off, um, this is actually the first time I've done cross country in a snapple as well with Missy, um, she likes to go fast and so as you can see from the first jump, we were cantering on the spot, not really going forward. And then as soon as Falcon took off over the jump, she plunged, took the bit and went as well. So I was a bit like, oh, this isn't the best behavior for slippery ground. Like I don't want to be out of control, galloping into fences. So um, the whole way around, me and mom were sort of trying to communicate and get a way that she could get Falcon to go forward and slow and steady which would hopefully help Missy settle into a rhythm as well all the way around. So there's a lot of me moaning at mom, kick on, slow down, do this, do that, but I was really struggling to settle her into a good rhythm. Um, all the way around, they were jumping really, really well. She had so much scope over the jumps. She wasn't looking at anything. She just loves to get going, going forward all the time. 
and yes the ground was super slippery so we were just trying to go as steady as possible so we got jump one to nine normal jumps lovely ten through the water as per usual missy loves water and was trying to snatch down and play and drink the water which obviously isn't ideal during a cross-country competition then we carried on and then we got to jump number 11 and from the start box we were watching everyone just cantering past the jump slipping to the side slipping into it very very few horses were going straight over the jump sliding downhill um, so we made sure we came back to a trot into it and we were sort of had the thought in our head just trot and pop straight over and I tried to leave as much distance as I possibly could with no breaks between Falcon and Missy and as we got to the jump Falcon was going 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 taking off and then decided oh I can't do this and his front feet were actually on the jump and it was a roll top so his front feet were on the jump and he was kind of like sat Meanwhile, me and Missy are still sort of coming into the jump. She thinks she's going over the jump. I'm sat there thinking, well, we need to go steady. Is Falcon going to launch the rest of his body over the jump? Or is he going to wobble back and get out the way? It was just an absolute pile up at fence number 11. We had no, I had no idea what was going on, what I was going to do. I didn't really have much control, to be honest, either. And... In slow motion, Falcon then decides, okay, he's coming back from the jump because he can't go forward over it because it's so wide. Meanwhile, I'm still closing the gap between Missy and Falcon. And I get to the point where Falcon's just got out of the way and I'm still heading towards the jump. And I'm like, okay, am I going to keep trying to stop, which I can't really stop? Am I going to slam into the jump if I continue to ask her to stop? Um... And then I was like, well, if I carry on going, am I going to hit Falcon? And so I'm in a predicament where I'm like, I don't know if I'm stopping and going. She doesn't know. Well, she thinks she's still going. Falcon's trying to reverse, get himself off the jump. Mum's trying to get him out of the way of the jump. And eventually I'm about one or two strides apart. And I'm like, I'm committed to this jump she's kind of going for it so I'm like well I've just got to hold on and go with it and encourage her to get over so I just put my leg on a little bit click her on and she launches from practically a walk she pings over the jump I get basically projectiled out of the saddle hit up in the air I think I even land on her neck possibly even headbutt her I have no idea what's going on all I know if I've been chucked out of the saddle landed on her out the saddle and just plop off the side so horse error rider error team error you name it it happened but it was just a massive pile up at fence 11 and so I quickly jumped up she was okay I feel a bit bad actually because I really didn't want to let go of her because I know she can, she's quite a panic um, type of horse, she's not really very laid back so I really didn't want to let her go and her end up bolting off somewhere scared. So I tried to hold on and I did hold on although I pulled the, the bit quite far through her mouth by holding onto the reins but she stood where she was, she was really chilled about it. I quickly got out of the way because the next pair were coming straight after us and obviously I didn't want to get in their way, end up getting run over, hit, anything can happen on a cross country course. So I had to really try and think about getting myself out of the way and I wasn't very hurt so I was fine to just get up and get us out of the way. Um, I quickly remounted, no problem. And once the, the next pair had gone through, one of their horses actually had a refusal as well. So it was a really tricky fence in those kind of conditions. Um, so we got on, we carried on, picked up where we left off. Mum really rode Falcon into it this time and he went over and then Missy pinged it absolutely perfectly. Really nice shape over the jump this time. So it obviously hadn't knocked her confidence at all. Um, and then we carried on with the rest of the course like nothing had happened. So it's really disappointing that we kind of had that pile up at that fence, but it was a fence causing a lot of problems for a lot of people. And out of 22 pairs, only five pairs went clear. Um, nine were eliminated. Uh, we ended up 12 out of 22 with the faults we'd accumulated from that, that fence. 
Um, so really, considering all, I was very happy with the Alton. It's just a shame I fell off, obviously, that mum had the refusal. Um, but overall, I was really happy. She gave it her all. She was so honest. She trusted me. She didn't know what she was doing. I told her, let's go. She trusted me and she jumped. So apart from that, I have no complaints at all. She listened to me all the way round. She wasn't... I didn't feel like she was hesitating from any of the fences and it's fences she'd never seen before. She's very inexperienced in cross country and solid fences. We haven't done a cross country since September last year. Um, so that's like 10 months possibly. Um, we've done like arena cross country and an arena event in, but that's it really. So I'm really happy. It's just a shame that Falcon sort of interrupted our flow and caused such an awkward jump over the, the skinny roll top. So yeah. Um, I'm feeling very stiff and bruised today, to be honest. Like, I always wear body protector cross country, skull cap, um, and I don't fall off very often, touch wood. But yeah, today I'm feeling very bruised. Like, I landed all on one side, and we take the, the ups and downs together, but no broken bones, no concussion, so I can't complain. Missy's uninjured, absolutely fine. Horses are safe, riders are safe, and that's all we came out to do, just to get back out there. So yeah, I'm super, super happy with how they were, and 12 out of 22 is just a little extra added bonus to a really good day out. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get out again. So we have a few more competitions lined up, a few more hunter trials, cross countries. I'm hoping to get out to some show jumping as well. So there's going to be really exciting videos coming up. I'm going to do some more um, meet the horses and really get to know us because Missy and Falcon both have quite unique stories of how they came to us. And I'm going to share that with you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be bringing you more content soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video.